I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Today we're going to do a disassembly video on the Fusion Clear Shot Gun from Graco. Before we start, a couple safety things. We want to make sure we read through the manual and understand it on the, on the Clear Shot Gun that comes with the gun. Also, safety glasses. So let's get started. So what makes this gun a little different than the other ones is this is, uses clear shot fluid inside the handle, goes in and pushes up and turns to hold it in place. And that fluid, each time you release the trigger, will get a little dose of fluid through that mix chamber to help keep it clean. So we'll start by taking off the coupling block that the gun mounts to. 5 16 nut driver. and we can remove the gun from the coupling block and the attached hoses. On the coupling block are your shutoff valves and inside, in here, are the filters. Those are our screens that we can pull off and clean. Okay, on the front of the gun, it has plastic covers to help keep the, the important parts of the gun clean. These, these covers are replaceable and disposable. On the bottom of the gun are our check valves. The check valves keep fluid going only in one direction, so the fluid can go in but not come back out. That way, if you have a crossover in the gun, the fluid's contained within the fluid head and can't get back into your coupling block and hoses. So let's take one out. There's going to be a very small ball inside with a spring that closes if fluid tries to go backwards. So the next step is going to be to remove the side seals. We want to do that before we remove the mix chamber because it's under spring pressure and we don't want to scratch the mix chamber as we remove it. So let's take the side seals out. Here's the B side. Here's the A side. At this point, we're ready to take the fluid head off of the gun. About a 30 degree turn, and it pulls right out. Then the mix chamber will slide right out the back. At this point, I'm probably gonna wanna take a little more attention to these individual parts to make sure I get them clean properly. To do that, I'm gonna need to disassemble them further. On the side seals, this is the side seal assembly this piece right here is actually the side seal. So I wanna get that out and there's a spring inside that keeps that spring pressure. So I push in, turn counterclockwise, my side seal comes out. It's those little tabs that hold it in place. And there's our spring. Now for our check valve, we're gonna remove the O-ring and then this threads together and that's what holds in the ball and the spring. Now on the fluid head, there are a couple O-rings we want to pay attention to. There's one right here. here and one in the front right here so take them out clean them up make sure they're in good condition and replace them if need be if you need to go further into the gun you can remove the safety cap off the back which by the way has a variable flow control on it it's a nice little feature then we can just push the air piston from the front out the back. Now this is a double piston. Inside there, there's another piston that slides back and forth to dose the clear shot liquid that helps keep your gun clean. And really the only thing left in the handle now is the trigger pin, which is held by the air fitting.
with a spring okay. to get the air piston out or the air trigger out I'm going to go to the front there's a little notch there I'm going to use my screwdriver to push it from the front out the back and this is what's going to direct the air to the right part of the gun whether you pull the trigger or not a couple holes in here that need to be clear and free of any foam That's the basic disassembly of the Fusion Clear Shot gun. To put it back together is basically putting everything back in in the reverse order after all the parts have been properly cleaned. I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors.